And I'm going to say is, I want you to summarise the conversation that you and Harris were having. Good, here's your roll card. What, how do I summarise? To summarise, <laughs> Harris said that 80 and 40 sh um, um, share the same factors. Because he said that um, all the numbers in the um, four times tables, you find some of them in the eight times tables. Okay, lovely justification. Who can add? Who can build on? Who can be the builder? Lydia. I agree what they're saying, but I disagree with the fact that they say that all the, all the factors of 80 are factors of 40. Because if you see next to the 5, it says 5 and 16. But <coughs> for, for 40 times table, you wouldn't find the factor 16. Okay, I think uh, it looks like Ahmed wants to add or challenge or... 16. Are you adding or are you challenging? Okay. Okay, thank you. 16 is double eight. That means that there might be a common factor, but Lydia has just said, what did Lydia say? What did Lydia say? Who was actually listening? Stephen? There's, what? No, there's no 16 in the 40s. When we are multiplying two numbers, I never multiply 16 and my product is 40. I multiply 16 by 5 and I get the product of 80. 80. But 16 is not a common factor of 40 and 80. Brilliant. Well done. So Abdulaziz, Harris. Harris, do you agree with the statement now or do you disagree? Who disagrees with the statement? Raise your hand. <coughs> Who disagrees with the statement? Okay, interesting. Year five, your job is your fluency now. In your books, you have our turn, your turn, and you're finding common factors. You can neatly draw your Venn diagrams. There's a model on the board. I'm counting in from 10 to zero. By zero, you're settled and you're working on your fluency. Off you go.